When we were looking at the character panel, we talked about the options available for controlling spacing between characters. You have kerning options and tracking options. In this movie, I want to focus a little bit more on the kerning options. Before we talk about why you would kern characters, let's look at an example. In order for us to do that, I want you to double click inside this paragraph to get the type tool to become active. I want you to delete the letter A and replace it with a capital T. And this is a decent example. We can see that the letter T and the letter D have a little bit more space than, I guess, the rest of the characters, or so it appears. And the reason for this is, if you think about characters in a block, look at the block that the T takes up. Because the T has this top portion of the letter, and there's a lot of space underneath it, it presents the illusion that there's more space between the T and the D than just about any other character here within the paragraph. So what traditional typographers would do back in the days of printing presses is they would kind of shave this block down a little bit to allow the D to appear a little closer. Well, you can do that now digitally by using this kerning option. Right now it's set to zero, but if we come over and choose something else like negative 75, we can see that the D now appears much closer to the letter T. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that, Command Z or Control Z on Windows. If we select a range of characters, traditionally what you would do to control the distance between them is use something called tracking. But you can also work with kerning in the sense that you can control the algorithm used to determine the spacing. Right now it's set to auto. And auto is essentially the value of kerning that the type designer included with the font. Well, Adobe, believe it or not, really kind of came up with an algorithm that's probably better suited for the digital space. And if we come over to this menu, we can choose optical instead of auto. When you choose optical, take special note of the T and the D, you'll notice it looks a lot better. So if you're in a rush and you don't want to spend the time looking at the distance between all the characters within your type, optical can be a good solution. Now again, this only occurs when you're dealing with a range of characters. Notice you can't choose a value. If you want precise control over it, where you're choosing a value between each of the characters within this selection, well, at that point, you would use tracking. So with this selected, you would come over and choose a value here, and you'll notice that all the characters have that spacing applied to it. So you have a lot of options in terms of controlling character spacing. If you have a lot of text, like a paragraph, it may make sense to use something like the optical option here in the menu. Again, you'll probably work with kerning when you have text as a focal point within the document. If you just have a paragraph of text and you want a little bit more control over the spacing, usually choosing something like optical is a good solution to get a high quality look without really spending the time controlling all of the spacing values between those characters.